Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Many of you have already noticed that I love cooking celeriac and salt dough. It's one of my favorite preparations. But today I wanted to show you that you can also cook other ingredients in salt dough. So today we're going to bake a pear in salted dough and serve it with different preparations of the Jerusalem artichoke. So if you haven't done already, please hit that subscribe button to support my channel and hit that notification button to be sure that you don't miss any amazing cooking videos. So, let's begin. We're going to begin with the Jerusalem artichoke. First, submerge 500 grams of Jerusalem artichokes with water and season it with some salt. Boil this for about 30 minutes till they're really well cooked. After that, take them out of the water and let them cool down for 2 minutes. Now when still hot, cut them in half and gently remove the skins from the meat. Keep the meat for later. Transfer the skins on a silicon sheet and let them dry at 50 degrees Celsius for around 4 hours. After that, heat up some neutral oil till it's 180 degrees Celsius and fry the skins so they puff up and become nice and crispy. Let them cool down on some kitchen paper and season them with salt. After that, keep them dry and covered for later. Now for the cream. Transfer the Jerusalem artichoke trimmings into a saucepan and also add 100 grams of milk and 4 grams of salt. Now bring this to a boil for 1 minute and then blend it into a smooth cream. Then transfer it into a piping bag and keep it in your fridge for later. Now for the baked pear. Pour 400 grams of flour on your worktop and use your bowl to make a well in the middle. Then add 400 grams of core salt and 250 grams of water. Now mix this and knead it into a firm dough. Then flour your worktop and roll out the dough till it's one big sheet. Now cut the sheet in three and cover three pairs with the salted dough. Make sure it's really tight and that there's no air trapped between the dough and the pear. Place them on a tray and bake them at 180 degrees Celsius for 40 minutes. Then let them cool down for 20 minutes and after remove the pears from the dough. Be careful, because the pears can still be very hot. Now let them cool down in your fridge. Once that's done, cut them into the desired shape and also cut away the skin. Use a round cutter to remove the core and keep all the pear trimmings for later. Now for the sweet and sour. First chop one piece of lemongrass. Also do this with 10 grams of Spanish pepper and 20 grams of ginger. Then pour 200 grams of white wine vinegar into a saucepan and also add 100 grams of sugar, 100 grams of water, 4 grams of salt, 4 grams of cardamom seeds and the chopped spices. Bring this to a boil. Once it has boiled, turn off the heat and let it cool down completely. Then take one Jerusalem artichoke and slice it in thin slices on a mandolin. Lay those slices on your worktop and cut it with a small round cutter. Then take your sweet and sour and put it through a fine sieve. Pour some of this liquid on the rounds and let it marinate in your fridge. Then for the pear gel. Pour 200 grams of pear juice into a saucepan and also add 100 grams of sugar, 40 grams of white wine vinegar, 3 grams of agar powder and 1 gram of jello powder. Mix this well and then bring it to a boil for 1 minute. Then pour it into a bowl and let it cool down in your fridge. After that, transfer it into a blender and spin it into a smooth gel. Then transfer it into a piping bag and keep it in your fridge for later. Then for the sauce, 
Begin by cleaning two onions and chop them. Now heat up a saucepan, add a splash of oil and glaze the onions for two minutes together with four grams of salt. Then add 400 grams of white wine, 400 grams of vegetable stock, 300 grams of cream and all the pear trimmings. Now let this reduce for one third. Then add 50 grams of butter and blend this till smooth. Once it's smooth, put it through a fine sieve. Then take some chives and chop them really fine. Add it to the sauce, give it a good mix and check for seasoning. Now we can start to plate. First lay the pear that I've heated up at 160 degrees Celsius on a plate. Add a couple of dots of the hot cream and place the sweet and sour rounds in between. Then add the Jerusalem artichoke crispies together with the pear gel and some wild fennel. Now add a nice canal of the hot Jerusalem artichoke cream on the side and finish the dish with the hot sauce. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video. And subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. And as always, bon appetit.